What's good, everybody, man? This is your guy, Manny, and this is the Talking Sports with Manny. So we're going to talk about Taylor Heineke today. Gunslinger. Is he a gunslinger? Do the Washington football team actually have something special in Taylor Heineke? Obviously, time will tell. There's been talks about, is Taylor Heineke a franchise quarterback? I don't know. Time will tell. All I know, as of right now, I am enjoying this process. I am enjoying watching him play. But I wanted to share an interesting stat with you guys. And this right here is going to shock a lot of you guys. Maybe some of you guys. But it definitely shocked me. So I'm going to pull up this stat. All right. So it says Taylor Heineke, most since 1999. That's the year that I became a fan. It says eight passing touchdowns through the first four weeks. So what does that really mean? Well, Brad Johnson had nine within the first, uh, you know, four weeks. And I remember that year, Brad Johnson, Michael Westbrook, Albert Connell, Irvin Fry. Like, those were my guys. Steven Alexander, Steven Davis. I mean, that was a pretty good team. And um, when you look at what Taylor's doing, right? Outside of Terry McLaurin, like who's really on the other side? Like who's really consistent on the other side? So obviously Terry has three uh, touchdowns so far. Uh, Ricky Seals has another one. So guys here and there are getting touchdowns. Logan Thomas has like what, two? So guys are getting touchdowns here and there, and it's, and it's refreshing. It's fun to see J.D. McKissick and the rest of them. But we might have something here at quarterback. The ball, like we're putting the ball in his hands, and Taylor Heineke is winning us games. Arguably, we can be three and one right now. We can be 0 and four. But the fact remains the same that without Taylor Heineke, possibly we're 0 and four. Like literally, he has two game winning drives. And to have eight touchdowns in four weeks is pretty awesome. You know, I'm going to pull up my calculator. I, I just love to crunch numbers. Sometimes, so pretty much he's averaging two touchdowns a game, right? Let's say he plays all 17 games, he's you know fully healthy. Obviously, you know, week one, you know, he, he comes in, but it doesn't matter. Let's say for a 17 game stretch, he's averaging two touchdowns a game. You know, what I'm saying you're looking at 34 touchdowns. <laughs> now, does he get 34 touchdowns? Probably not, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count him out of that. Like, I mean. If you look at it, the, the Washington football team's offense has been pretty good. You know what I'm saying? We've scored 30 points, like, what, two games in a row? So I'm enjoying what I'm seeing out of Taylor. Not only that, even if he can get to 27, 28 touchdowns, that's pretty good for me. I mean, you, when you look at Kirk Cousins, let me look at Kirk Cousins' numbers. But Kirk Cousins was here. He did some pretty good things for us. And you know what? You, you, a lot of people don't like Kirk Cousins. Some people like Kirk Cousins. It, all that matters is that Kirk Cousins actually produced. He produced numbers. Now, numbers obviously don't always translate to wins. So Kirk Cousins, when he became a starter, what, in 20, uh, 2015, uh, he had 29 touchdowns. Then the next year, in 16, he had 25. Then in 17, he had 27. I've been on several people's shows, several, several people's podcasts, and they always ask me, they say, okay, in a 16-game season or even 17-game season, can Taylor Heineke get X amount of touchdowns? The way that he's going right now, he's on pace for 34 touchdowns, but I can see him getting anywhere between 27 to 30 touchdowns. I don't know if he gets 34, but definitely 27 is in play. 30 is definitely in play. If he gets 30 touchdowns, that means either we're losing a lot and he's passing the ball a lot to bring us back, or maybe he just has a magical season and keeps up this, this play. I mean, even in fantasy football, Taylor Heineke is a high-end quarterback. He's a top 15 quarterback in fantasy football right now, and he can definitely go up. Yes, we got a tough schedule, but what that means is that we're going to be playing from behind. That means more Taylor Heineke. We got to go out there. We got to beat the Saints, but at the same time, going into week six, and I'm jumping in the gun, that Kansas City game, he's going to be forced to pass the ball a lot. So Taylor Heineke is becoming the thing. Whether he's a franchise quarterback, whether he's not, I'm just enjoying the ride. Um, please, if you guys could please subscribe, please like, please share, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm always curious to see what you guys think. So Taylor Heineke right now, eight touchdowns. Do you guys think he keeps up this pace? 
moving forward. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys on the, on that next video. Peace.